Hello students, in unit 7, we are going to learn about magnets. In this lesson, you will learn about what are magnets, effects of magnets, magnetic poles, behavior of magnets, Interaction between the poles of magnets, magnetic forces and demonstrating the magnetism. What are magnets? Before I explain you what are magnets, here is a glass of water and a file clip has fallen inside. Can you suggest a way to take that file clip out without putting your hand in? Yes, using a magnet. You can use a magnet to take the file clip out. Magnets in our day-to-day -day life. We use many things containing magnets in our day-to-day -day life. For example, magnetic chessboard, O Ludo, small motor, and magnetic pencil boxes. Effects of Magnets. Magnets affect other materials in different ways. Some materials get attracted towards the magnet and some others do not get attracted towards it. Of the given table, you can see the objects which get attracted towards the magnet. They are called magnetic objects. For example, drawing pins, file clips, screws, iron nails, scissors, metallic ruler, and file holder. In the second column, you can see the objects which do not get attracted towards the magnet, such as straws, plastic spoons, cello tape, pencils, sponge, plastic hanger, rubber duck. Different types of magnets. Magnets differ from each other due to their shapes. Examples are horseshoe magnet, bar magnet, U magnet, ring magnet and tabular magnet. They are used for different purposes. Magnetic poles. To 
understand the magnetic poles, we will do the activity 7.2. Objective of this activity is to identify the poles of a magnet. To do this activity, you need some file clips, a bar magnet and a piece of cardboard. First, you spread the file clips evenly on the piece of cardboard. Then, slowly lower the magnet towards the cardboard. Now you will observe more file clips attracted near the two ends of the magnet because the attractive power of the magnet is higher at the end of the magnet than the middle. These two ends with more power of attraction are called magnetic poles. of magnets. To understand the behavior of magnets, we will do the activity 7.3. Objective of this activity is to identify the poles of a magnet. You will need a wooden stand, a string, a compass and a magnet without poles mark. First, use the compass and mark the north and south on the table. Then, hang the magnet with the help of the string and the wooden stand as shown in the diagram. Now, let the magnet to be still. You will observe that the magnet lies still between north and south. The behavior of magnet further, we will do the activity 7.4. Objective of this activity is to identify the poles of the magnet. For this activity, you will need a water bar, a piece of regifoam, and 
a bar magnet. First, cut the piece of ridge form. Keep the bar magnet on it and let it flow on the water as shown in this picture. Then let the ridge form to be still. Now you will observe that the magnet lies still between north and south. From above activities you will understand that magnets always stay still in between north and south. North pole of the magnet is north of the compass. South pole of the magnet is south of the compass. We mark the north pole of a magnet as capital N in red color. South pole of the magnet as capital S in blue color. It is clearly shown in this picture. Interaction between the poles of magnet. To understand this, we will do the activity 7.5. Objective of this activity is to study the interaction between the magnetic poles. First, you take two bar magnets and label them as A and B. Then, hang the magnet A as shown in the figure. Now bring the magnet B towards magnet A as follows. North pole of the B towards the north pole of A. Then you will see they will repel each other. South pole of the magnet B towards the north pole of the magnet A. They will attract each other. South pole of the magnet B towards the south pole of the magnet A. They will repel. North pole of the magnet B towards the south pole of the magnet A. They will attract each other. Here you will observe that same poles repel each other while different poles attract each other. Here you can see two unlike poles attract each other. Identify the magnet from a different object. For this, 
you will need a marked bar magnet, unmarked bar magnet, pencil and iron nail. First, take the iron nail near the north pole of the marked bar magnet and observe. Then, move the iron nail near the south pole of the bar magnet and observe. Then, repeat the above steps using the pencil and unmark bar magnet. When you take the iron nail towards the north pole and south pole of the bar magnet, you will observe only the attraction. When you take the pencil, you will not observe any attraction nor repulsion. When you take the unmarked magnet towards the north pole, you will observe a repulsion. And when you take it towards the south pole, you will observe an attraction. Thus, the power of repulsion of magnets can be used to identify a magnet from other objects. Magnetic Forces To understand magnetic forces, we'll do the activity 7.7. .7. Objective of this activity is to study the magnetic forces around the magnets. You will need a bar magnet, iron fillings and a white paper. First, keep the magnet under the paper and spread the iron filling on the sheet of paper. Then tap the paper slowly. Now you will observe that iron fillings are arranged in a pattern around the magnet in a limited area. It is because the magnetic forces are spread around a limited area of the magnet. This is a diagrammatic illustration of the magnetic force around the bar magnet. The magnetism is spread around the magnet is called 
magnetic field magnetism to demonstrate the magnetism we must do the activity 7.8 objective of this activity is to find the magnet with highest magnetic power for this you will need some magnet and some file clips First, take one magnet and hang each of the file clips or iron nails one by one as shown in this picture. Then count the number of file clips hung on each magnet separately. You will understand that the magnet which bears the large number of file clips has the highest magnetic power. And that is the conclusion of this activity 7.8. Let's row a boat. For this activity, you need a piece of wooden plank, iron rod, a small magnet, a file clip, a, ba a basin with some water, a small stick, some clay and a triangular piece of paper. First, make a small board using above materials and keep it on the water. Then, fix the magnet to the iron rod and move it near the board. Now you will observe that the boat will move towards the magnet as the magnet attracts the file clip. You can do this activity and enjoy at your home as well. This is the summary of Unit 7. In this unit, we studied that only some materials attract to a magnet. Poles of a magnet have higher magnetism. Magnets have two poles, North Pole and South Pole. We can find the north and south pole of the magnet using a compass. Different poles attract each other. Same poles repel each other. We use magnets in our day-to-day life.